Hill bus station is is a busy place depending on the hours of the day of course and um, well as you can see it's uh, right next to all these beautiful buildings facing the Hilo Bay and the bay is 200 yards behind the bus station so my thinking is I should cross the street and start at the farmers market you know they have everything you you need you can get uh, sugar cane freshly cut coconuts beautiful beautiful vegetables and this guy is selling a lot of coconuts it's beautiful you can come in you can negotiate and you can find all kind of small chilies kind of like Thai chili I love it Everything is locally grown, the ginger. Hello. Even even exotic fruit. Sweet yellow dragon fruit, that's beautiful. Just a great place. The long gun looks fresh. More long gun. And of course, this is a popular place. People come with cameras. Everybody wants to see all the colors you have from the yellow to the green to orange to red almost black I just love it even bakeries selling dried tropical fruit It definitely creates a central hub where people come to pick up what they need for today's cooking. Across the street they are selling tacos and other other things, locomocos, burgers, fries. This is the coconut. All right. He's using that blade like he's the king. That's good. I love it. You were cut before, right? Yeah, he's a pro. It's a very, very delicious, freshly cut coconut. That's how you do it in Hilo. I'm going back to the bus terminal side. And there is a reason for it. Many of these buildings look better from a distance. If I'm too close, I can't show you 
how beautiful they are. This Hatta building was built in 1912 according to what I see up by the roof. And I'm guessing that is true for many of these other very original buildings. And the base building is called Hilo Bay Building. And that makes sense because it's looking out over the Hilo Bay in the background. I have a feeling wherever I go I will have the sun right in the face. But maybe this will work. So if you're trying to make a video about these uh, buildings, you need to be here early in the morning. We just passed lunchtime and the sun is of course just behind them. The old Cress building is right next to the Lao building. They gave them funny names. And as a matter of fact, the downtown area, if you go to the left, behind these buildings, I would say it's also very well preserved. Lots of restaurants, bars, stores, coffee shops. So if you're coming to Hilo, you will have a great time. And because Hilo was wiped out a couple of times from uh, tsunamis, they built a tsunami museum in this building. They call it the Pacific Tsunami Museum. I think I will go up one street. I'm thinking this crest guy must have been very important because I see this name in many locations in downtown. The question is, do they have side alleys in uh, Hilo? Yep, they do. Here's one of them. The local birds from Hawaii and some fish and even a shark. I will just shoot some uh, random videos. This is really downtown. We have a restaurant in that building. And the big one in the corner was built in 1922. They call it the Pacific Building. Wow. And according to the sign here, Big Island Climbing, I'm not sure if they are having some kind of sports activities going on inside the building. I don't know. And in the end of this street we have a bridge and the river. So let's go and check that out. We have some nice hula art on this wall. These girls are dancing and we have the king Kalakawa and Liliu Okalani on the other side. And you kind of see stuff like this all over town, which is very nice. While I'm waiting, I'm looking down at the ocean. And you know, in Hawaii, the ocean is never far away. And we have an ongoing project. When I was here six months ago, it looked the same. So, you know, they don't, they don't work very fast, but eventually this will be a very nice building as well. That's my take on it. And one of the biggest buildings in town contains the Hilo Armory. It's a huge building. 
Yeah, they better have a, an armory in case some foreign nation is coming over, invading Hawaii. You never know. So let's go and check out the bridge before the enemy shows up. This bridge is very similar to the bridge they have in Haleiwa on Oahu. But they have a double span bridge. This is just a single one, but it kind of looks the same. And it's just passing the Wailuku River. And it's going out in the ocean as soon as it passed the other bridge. But what I will do is to cross because they have a nice waterfall in the end. I know it's far away, the light is not perfect, but maybe you can see it in the background. And there is another bridge and I will, um, I will walk up there and try to get closer. And the water is moving pretty fast. Maybe you can see that. And it's absolutely brown. It's very relaxing to walk in the sun. Suddenly the sun just came out and I'm enjoying every minute. I gained some uh, elevation looking down at this wild water and in the background you see the white original bridge over the river and of course when it's raining it will be water everywhere covering these rocks and I'm lucky because there is no rain that could ruin everything let me try to cross this is pretty sweet an authentic waterfall pretty much in downtown Hilo well guys there you have it and it also looks like they are harvesting this little stream because there is a power station behind these trees so it's free electricity because they have plenty of water in Hawaii The federal building is a combo of uh, courthouse and post office. And it looks even better from the other side. So let me make a left and show you the courtyard. Look at this building. It's like a colonial building from a long time ago. The federal building. Wow. And the area is closed for cleaning but that's okay we don't need to go up there we just enjoy it from below and high up contrasting the blue sky we have the United States flag it's just hanging there we can barely see it Across this bar where they have nightly music, we have the Lions building from 1931. Also blue like the sky. <laughs> All right. There is a guy up on the roof. The question is, will he survive? I think he did. 
He walked back in. They're probably building something. Anyway, at the bottom they sell uh, chocolate. They say chocolate company. And that's always good if you like some calories. And the light yellow building is a market. It's a very nice market. And if you go down the street, you will end up uh, by the food court again. So it's a small downtown area and you can have a lot of fun if you just pay attention to details and have money to spend <laughs> because when you sit down you are going to blow some money that's for sure I will finish up my little walk in the back of this market because there is an open space we have some Sun coming out and we are looking at the buildings facing the Bay I hope you enjoyed my random walk.